Can you tell just how excited I am right now? I'm not sure if the camera can really pick it up. So let me change the setting. <laughs> this hat is like really messed up. Anyway, so I just saw on Atomos Global's Instagram page that Adobe finally and when I say finally, I really mean finally, just released a new update for Adobe Premiere Pro that includes Pro Res Raw compatibility. <sighs> so let's dive into the details. So as I record this video, today Adobe just came out with version 14.2 of Adobe Premiere Pro and as soon as I saw, my finger went practically through the trackpad. I downloaded it immediately. I didn't know what exactly to expect. I was honestly hoping for something similar to Red's editing ability in post, you know, where you can literally adjust everything. But realistically, I knew that that probably wasn't the best thing to expect. But after downloading everything, shooting some sample footage, and spending time learning the update, here's what I've found so far. Well, there's really only two things with the update in regard to ProRes RAW. Number one, you can finally use the highest quality output from your camera, meaning there's literally no sacrifice on quality. You don't have to shoot in just um, ProRes HD 422, LT, so you're able to utilize your camera's highest quality, which does mean an increase in file size, but at least you can now actually import that ProRes RAW file into Premiere Pro. And for number two, once you've imported your footage, you can now adjust your exposure in post. So let's say you incorrectly exposed your shot or you were shooting in the sunlight increased or changed in a way that you weren't expecting or didn't have control over. Now you have the ability to correct that exposure in post, meaning no unusable footage. It's all good, no worries. To a certain degree, of course. With that being said, let's do a comparison and see if there's really a difference between ProRes RAW and regular ProRes. Everything will be shot on my Sony FS5 Mark II through SDI going into my Atomos Shogun Inferno. And go. I'm gonna let you all be the judge on if you're able to spot any differences between the two clips. Leave a comment below with what you think. And that wraps up this video. I'll have a link below on everything else that the 14.2 update includes. I'm excited to continue to learn more about the capabilities of ProRes RAW, studio tour video coming soon, new merch coming soon, and a whole lot more. So feel free to subscribe, like, comment, share, Whatever it is that you want to do, follow me on Instagram at create with canvas and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.